Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania, has a population of about 600,000. We approach Vilnius from the south on a rainy day. For the next days we will stay at the simple but clean campsite Camping Vilnius City. From there you can use cheap public transport into the city. We start our tour at the gate of dawn, the Ausschuss Wartai, to enter the old city. The gate of dawn is the only gate of the former city wall. Many pilgrims, mainly from Poland, come here to pray in front of a small Madonna painting of the 16th century that is kept inside the gate. We pass the Baroque gate to the Basilian Abbey and walk down the old alleys. From the bastion of the Vilnius defense wall, we have a good view of the Three Crosses Memorial on the right, across the so-called Republic of Schupis, the St. Francis of Assisi Church, the Cathedral of Ascension, and finally the Gediminas Tower to the left. After the independence of Lithuania in 1991, many students, artists, musicians and actors moved to this rundown quarter. In 1997, the inhabitants founded their own fun republic with its own constitution. Article 12, for example, says it's a dog's right to be a dog. To rest in one of the cafes is quite something. Just across the river Vilnia lies the St. Michael's Church of the late 16th century. Opposite St. Michael's, we see the Gothic St. Anne's in St. Francis and St. Bernard's Church of the early 16th century. They are recognized as the most beautiful brick churches in Vilnius. At the beginning of the 14th century, Grand Duke Gediminas built a castle on the hill of the confluence of the rivers Neris and Vilnia. Today only parts of the former palace and the reconstructed octagonal Gediminas tower can be seen. From the top of the hill you have a great view on Vilnius. You see the new city's business district north of the Neris and to the south the old city with its many churches and the dominant palace of the Grand Dukes of Lithuania. In front of the National Museum, we see the statue of Lithuania's first Grand Duke Mindaugas. The Vilnius Cathedral and its bell tower shine brightly in the midday sun. The cathedral was built in the late 18th century at the place of a former pagan place of worship, dedicated to the god of thunder Pekunas.
In front of the palace of the Grand Dukes rises the statue of Gediminas, the founder of Vilnius. We follow the oldest and longest street in the old city, the Pelias Gantve. The street is busy with many cafes, restaurants and shops. When you pass Dione's ice cream parlor, don't forget to stop and enjoy your favorite scoop of ice cream. One of the best ice creams ever. The birds love it when you share some crumbs of your cone. The colorful places and people will make your visit unforgettable. At the end of the Pelias Gatwe, you arrive at the City Hall Square. Opposite the five-star Radisson Blue Royal Astoria Hotel of 1901, we see Lithuania's first Baroque church, the Casimir Church of the early 17th century. St. Casimir is the patron saint of Lithuania. We leave Vilnius walking along the Ausraswartugatve, passing the Gate of Dawn, through which we entered the city before.